Hello YouTube, this is the Munchlax boy to bring you uh, a video on Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on how to get a two-tone chair. Right, first you've got to go into Chair World and you can choose any character you want. Then you have to go into Chow Kindergarten uh, to get some heart fruits and get two heart fruits. And I've already done that and I've put them in the hero garden. Okay, first you've got to get a normal Chow. I'm going to use Fenrir. Uh, and he's a normal swim Chow but with just bunny accessories. And what you must do is wait for uh, your chow, whichever one it is, uh, that's eating it, eat every single bit of it, or else the flowers will bloom around it. Like so. And then you've got to get a shiny chow. And I've got this one. So, you don't have to get a shiny chow, you can just get a normal coloured chow, shiny chow. But I like to use shiny chow because they look cooler. Right, so you gotta give the two chow that you want to breed two heart fruits. One heart fruit each. And then when it's finished, it should mate. Like so. Then you got egg. Shake it around a bit, or you could throw it on the wall, but that will cause the child to dislike you, and I don't want this one to. Okay, so then it should hatch any minute now. Like so. And it should be. Voila! Look at that. A two-tone chow. As you can see, since it's in this baby neutral stage, it has slightly red rose tips and a shiny purple body. And this works with any sort of coloured chow, any sort, say if you wanted a shiny lime green chow, a two-toned one, breed a shiny lime green chow with a normal chow. And this should come out, it doesn't work all the time, maybe it might be a normal regular shiny chow, I mean a, sorry, a coloured shiny chow, which one do you choose, or a normal chow, it might be either one of them, but if you're lucky you might get one of these. I'll just see and just show you what it turns into if you raise it with a character. So if you see, this is a two-tone chow. Uh, the tips of its hands, feet, and sometimes on its back should change a light shiny blue colour. There we go. As you can see, here's the first stage of it. Uh, it's sort of, sort of turning blue. Uh, then if you stroke it some more, it should turn blue. There we go. I can see the tip starting to turn blue. Just a tad. So here it is, as you can see they started off as a sort of rose red rouge colour sort of thing and now look at them they are sort of blue, shiny blue and if you pick them with Shadow Rouge or Eggman uh, you should have different, uh, well different, a different colour or on your ch uh, child's tips and sometimes the normal tone of the chow might turn a little bit darker like as you can see, uh, I'll just show you this. Uh, I've made a two-toned orange chow. It's around here somewhere. Here it is. You might say this is a gold chow, but it's not. It's just 
noticed since I raised it with a dark character, it turns slightly darker. And as you can see, there's orange tips. And I've called it Galaxy. Uh, so, that's how you make a two-tone shell. And remember, you can use any colour, but you have to breed it with a normal shell. And you can use a shiny or just a normal coloured shell. And you can buy them from the black market and just mate them. And it should be a good chance of making them a two-toned shell. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. And if you subscribe, every chow in the chow garden gets their favourite fruit. Okay? Thank you for watching and goodbye.